Hello, everybody. CW here. Trigger pull Thursday. I got a different one for you. This is my cricket pistol. I get these backwards. There's two of these. Yeah, it's a cricket pistol. This one is in 22 mag. And it is a dandy. <clears throat> Old school Tasco Pro Class scope. This is really uh, good, good, good stuff. Don't think Tasco when you uh, think Pro Class. This has an etched glass reticle. Really, really good optics. 30 millimeter. It's it's a nice scope. It really is a nice, nice scope. If you get your hands uh, on one, you can get it for a good price. Grab it up. I think you'll like it a lot. The Pro Class were the pistols and the Euro Class uh, were the rifles. I don't think they did. I don't think they switched that. And I also did bring some ammo out, but I'm going to get rid of it here before we start playing with trigger pulls. But I, I brought it out because this is something that not a lot of people know about. And a lot of people have just sort of called me a liar for talking about it. But I'll bring it up here close so that you can read it. Small game and pest control. Reduced noise. Subsonic. Lead hollow point. 22 Winchester Magnum. 1080 FPS. Winchester did make this stuff. Just before COVID. It was available. Don't know if you're going to find it anymore. There's a skew. I was lucky enough to buy a, a brick of it. So I have... A small quantity, but unsure if they still catalog it. I haven't checked, but if you run a suppressor, you want the stuff. And uh, this is a dandy, dandy suppressor host. Need I say more? So, let's check the trigger pull on this. Let's get rid of the ammo. No more ammo on the bench. This is a single shot pistol matter of fact it's uh it's single shot and it's manual cocking so this has to be cocked manually every time running the bolt simply removes the empty case and allows you to close the bolt on a new one or on an empty it does not cock it this cocks it so it's a very very safe simple design um, it's the same as the Cricut rifles for kids. Scaled down with, with a short barrel. Now this is a, this is an aluminum chassis. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, 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 goodness. Long day. This is an aluminum chassis that they offer that costs more than the gun does. <laughs> before the, uh, before the, uh, scare the ban the the whole hype the whole nonsense on braces that's what i had on here um but i've taken it off just because i don't want to have any issues or problems so now it's just just a pistol chassis and in the back here i just screwed in a, a blank that allows you to put a quick release which is really nice on a pistol because you can make up a strap and just carry this over your shoulder under your arm and let it swing there and then pull it up from under your arm to use it. So it's a, it's a really nice hunting pistol if you want to hunt with a pistol. Um, squirrels and small stuff, you know. Um, but uh, I think th I think it's a 15-inch barrel. I don't have a tape in front of me here. I'm just looking. No, I don't. What do I have here? This is 6 inches, isn't it? This is 6 inches there. So we'll go from there to there is six and then from there to there is so it's an eight eight and a half what was i saying 15 eight and a half inch barrel so it's a pretty good size barrel for a pistol anyway i thought it was longer than that that looks longer that looks closer to 12 inches but I'm a guy, so what do I know about inches, right? <laughs> Don't answer that. All right, let's check some trigger pulls. Again, we made sure it's empty. We got nothing in the chamber. You can see the chamber's empty right there. I should have a, a snap cap, and I 
did have a 22 snap cap somewhere here. I have it right here. Where did I have those? Stand by, I think I have one. Told you I did. Told you I did. 22 Winchester Magnum dummy. Doesn't say snap cap, it's just a dummy, but we're going to use it as a snap cap because it is aluminum. Slide it in there. Close the bolt. Cock it. Let's turn our scale on here. Okay. I don't expect much out of this because it's not a great trigger. Twenty point one ounces. <laughs> See? This thing is just not consistent. I don't know how it can be so that's half that's half the trigger pull. I don't know how it can do that. Try it right smack here in the middle. <laughs> let's clear it. And let's cock it first this time. I thought it was moving an awful lot. It's got a little bit of creak, but it doesn't have that much. Fourteen point five. Fifteen point nine. That's fifteen point nine ounces, so it's right at right at a pound. Whoops. Eighteen point seven. So it's growing. But it's also just over a pound. So that's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Really fun, really fun gun. I like it a lot. Cricket alloy. I got to get a better grip for it. This is just a cheap Troy grip. I like the angle of it. And I haven't found, I bought vertical grips. I just didn't like them. I've got a new vertical grip coming for the 2545. Stay tuned for that video. I got a couple of uh, couple of gadgets I added to that rifle too that I'm going to do a video on here shortly. I'm supposed to have that grip here this weekend, so we'll see. I'll get a video out here pretty soon. But uh, I should buy something else nice for this because this this works. It feels okay, but I'd like to have something nicer. Such a nice pistol. I'd like to have a nicer grip. So uh, if you got any ideas on grips for me, um, shoot me some comments down in the uh, comment section or shoot me some suggestions. All right, there we go. Thanks, Ron Wayne, for thinking of this one. I know it's petering out for some folks. I certainly don't do it every week, but I thought this one would be a neat one. It's a gun you guys don't see every day. Maybe some of you don't even know it exists. But... Uh, it does. You may have to special order it, but it does exist. Comes in long rifle and in magnum. And I got one of each, so maybe we'll do a long rifle version another day. Alrighty. God bless everybody. CW out.